We'll see. <laughs> All right, they are not U.S. citizens or legal residents, but if their children are born here, the children have all the legal rights that you and I do, including the right to collect welfare and vote in American elections. They're called birth tourists, and their children become instant citizens as opposed to the usual immigrants who have to wait in line. Uh, we found this from our brain room. People becoming citizens in 2008 spent an average of nine years waiting as legal residents before they became citizens. And the number of U.S. births to non-resident mothers rose 53% between the years 2000 and 2006. California Congressman Gary Miller is among those calling to close the loophole that allows citizenship, uh, citizenship I should say, by birth alone. Good morning to you, sir, and welcome to our program here. I just want to... I think we got morning, this out of your office from the Birthright Citizenship Act. It says, under current law, a child born on U.S. soil, despite the legal status of his or her parents, is entitled to all benefits that U.S. citizenship entails, including federal welfare benefits and the right to vote. Part of that is from the 14th Amendment that I'll get in a moment here. But, hey, that's a pretty good deal if you can get it, don't you think? It's a real good deal. In fact, there's been businesses set up in the United States and many countries that just is for profit on sending people to the United States just to have their baby so the baby can become a citizen. Uh, there, there are hotels, you know about this, that offer pregnant yes, women packages to stay and give birth. Uh, the, I think there's one in yes. New York City that pay tens of thousands of dollars to do it. What about those? Well, they, they sell a package to come to the United States, have your baby, they then get the base to all the paperwork you need to do that, they get the birth certificate, then they babysit for the child for a week or two to let you go on vacation, then they pack you up and send you back home with an American citizen. Uh, what would your bill do then, sir? It eliminates that. It, the 14th Amendment was basically applied to slaves and it was appropriate, but Section 5 of the 14th Amendment allows Congress to delegate how the amendment and provisions are applied, and we can basically overturn that misinterpretation very easily by an act of Congress. Well, your point is that they're abusing the system. That, that, that's what you're saying. Absolutely, this, right? You have you have illegals in this country that have about 300,000 babies a year that become American citizens. Then you have businesses that are set up just to bring people from other countries to have a baby. So it's a U.S. citizen, and they take that child back home. And you have all the benefits of a citizen in the future. That child can come back and attend school. Can basically come back and sign up to bring all their family back to the United States. Are you, it's just wrong. You, and we need to change right, it. You, you know the challenge in. in Overturning the Constitution or getting an amendment to you it? You don't have to. You don't how, have to overturn so? the Constitution. Section 5 gives Congress the right to delegate how the amendments are applied. And all Congress has to do is to delegate that it's not to be applied in this fashion. Do you have support for that? I, I've heard from critics, uh, the Republicans and their Democrats are saying it's, it's unrealistic. I think somebody said it's unnecessary. Uh, politically unrealistic, too. Your reaction to that? Um, have you talked to the American people lately about what's going on in Washington? They're angry. They're tired of Washington telling them what to do. They're tired of Washington taxing them and they're tired of Washington determining what their future is going to be like. American people are fed up with the current system. I think they're going to have strong support for this bill. All right. Gary Miller is a Republican out of California. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you very much. All right.